kiddos, it's me, Mom Shalyn, your pre-calculus teacher for this semester. And in this video presentation, we would be identifying the standard form of a parabola given the focus. So we have example number two already, which is a parabola which has a focus of 0, negative 4. Now our task is to find its standard form of equation. Given this focus, let us now observe the cases that we have here. Now, Tia, we have 0, negative 4. That means we have a 0 for the x-coordinate and a negative value for the y-coordinate. So which case would that be? Is it a parabola opening upward? Yes, it has a 0 as uh, for the x-coordinate, but it has a positive y-coordinate, so it's not the same as our given. For a parabola opening to the left, it has a negative p-value, yes, but it is found on the x-coordinate. This one is on the y-coordinate. So how would that be now? What case would this be? Very good observation. This is now a parabola opening downward. It has 0 as our x-coordinate and a negative p-value here. So now that we know that it is a parabola opening downward, we use this equation. x squared equals negative 4py. So let's solve together. We have our given at x squared equals negative 4py. This is now the formula for our standard equation. And we have from the focus, we are able to identify the value of p. So what's the value of p from our focus here? It's 4. Mom, negative yung given. Shouldn't we use the negative value? We are just looking for the value of p and not negative p. Therefore, p is just 4. If you substitute to the formula f0 negative p, then you would arrive at this. Okay? So, p is always positive. In short, p is always positive. p for parabola. p for positive. Now that we, not, we have the value for p, we substitute here to be able to get the standard form of equation x squared equals negative 4 times the value of p, which is 4y. Simplify that. x squared is equal to negative 4 times 4 is 16y. And this is now your answer. Let's check if we have the same answer. Okay, x squared is equal to negative 16y. Let's move on to the next example. Okay, example number three. This time we have the focus at negative one fourth. Oh, it's a fraction, negative one fourth. So let's identify whether it is a parabola opening upward, downward, left, or right. Our x coordinate is a negative value, and the y coordinate is zero. So which among the cases has a negative x-coordinate and zero as its y-coordinate? It is a parabola opening to the left. Very good. We have a negative p-value here and zero for our y-coordinate. That means we would use the formula y equals a negative 4px. So let's solve together. We have the formula y squared equals negative 4px. Then again, let us identify the value of p from our focus. The focus is negative 1 fourth 0. That means the p value is always positive. So the p-value here is 1 fourth. This is what we will use for the substitution, 1 fourth. y squared is equal to negative 4 times the p-value of 1 fourth x. So 
we could now simplify this further. y squared is equal to negative 4 over 4x. And 4 over 4 could further be simplified as y squared is equal to negative 1x. But we don't write 1 anymore. It's an arbitrary value here. Our final answer would be y squared is equal to negative x. So that is our final answer. y squared is equal to negative x. Thank you so much. For our next video, we will be identifying the parts and the graph given the standard form. Till then, bye bye. I never made it.